Hi guys, in this video we are going to continue our live demo or the whole demo for the airline and this we are going to integrate with the email using AWS SES services. Okay. So first of all, uh, where we are currently in the bot, uh, so we saw the call flow, right? So, so far what we have done is we have displayed edit and cancel in the manage uh, uh, booking, right? And in the cancel, what we were doing earlier is we were just sending. Where is here? Yeah, we are just sending a uh, displaying a message over here. Now, what we will do along with this, we will also send an email, right? Now, to use the SES, uh, uh, sorry, to use the email, right? Uh, you have to do very basic thing, which is go to Amazon SES, right? Over here, it will ask for create identity right so over here it asks for a domain or email address since I don't have a domain I am using email address right once you give the email address over here so like the one I have given my bot.kumar at uh, gmail.com so this is the email address that I have and once I do the create identity or it's already been created so it will give this as an error message but what you have to do is just click on create identity and it will generate an email to you for verification okay so you will get an email over here and you can verify so what i have done uh, and uh, so sorry once that is done right uh, you will go to your dashboard In the dashboard right so you will see that right now we are in sandbox environment i want to stay in the sandbox environment i don't want to move to the production uh, because i don't want to pay for that right and i'm okay with 200 emails per 24 hours uh, since this is for just for demo but if you have a production one you can always uh, request for the production access what i have done so far is i have created or verified two of my email address so I can send one to another one uh, as an email, right? So once this step is done, your SES activity is completed. Now, uh, what I have done is I have written a Lambda, okay, which do nothing but just to send an email uh, from and to uh, using the AWS SDK, right? So in this, what we have done is we have given the region, okay? Okay, so first of all, this code is already available in the GitHub, uh, which is in description link. You can find the uh, details over there. Uh, so I'm just explaining the code over here. So what I have done is I have given the region. I'm using AWS SDK. Uh, this is the template or the JSON body that uh, SDK requires uh, for the parameters. So in this, I am already hard coding uh, the to address and from address. What is the subject and subject I'm passing from here uh, like this and this is the email body that you will receive right and once you call this one it goes uh, important thing to note is from the configuration in the permission right uh, the role that you see over here if you click over here you have to give the permission to SES right and uh, the permission I have given is full permission but basically you have to provide send email and uh, send a receive email permission uh, to this sorry only the send email for now so you have to give this ACS full access uh, which has so many permissions uh, it is completely star over here but basically you have to give the uh, send email permission right so what it will do it's once the lambda is get triggered uh, it will send an email to the email address okay now to integrate that with our amazon connect what we have to do is uh, over here in the flows right uh, you have to add that lambda to so that you can consume in your amazon connect flow right i will go to my amazon connect so this is the manage booking that we are doing and they are displaying this message right uh, blah, blah 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 and now what we i will do is i will integrate with uh, invoke lambda so what i will do is i will call this one i will specify send email and do want to send any parameters like the email address or anything else that you can add or do over here 
and fetch it uh, in the session variables from here. Uh, I'm not sending uh, any parameters because everything, I have only two email address, right? Uh, so that's why I'm not doing anything, but you can obviously do that. I will cancel this one and I will just click it as save. Either way, we are going to disconnect the call, okay? So let's click publish and let's see how it goes. Uh, it is published, okay? So I will start the bot. So I will go to the help and we are doing manage booking. Please provide your address. I'm just giving a garbage over here since we already have the hard coded one. And it is asking for PNR. Uh, we don't have any validation, right? Six, seven, oops, six, seven, H. Uh, we are into the cancel flow flight, right? So it's asking for mobile number. I will give mobile number, okay? And it should end now, okay? Now let's go to the inbox. Okay, we have received the email. You can see it's, uh, time is same, 310. And if I open, this is the email that I have received. So this is how uh, we can integrate uh, the email address, right? Oh, sorry, with not the email address. This is how we can uh, uh, schedule a schedule. This is how we can send an email from uh, Amazon Connect using uh, Amazon SES. Uh, not sure what is the full form of that. They have mentioned something. Uh, simple email services. So that is what I am using to send the email. Same, we have SNS, SNS, uh, uh, which is for SMS that also you can use. Uh, so yeah, that is how uh, we can send the email. Hopefully you find the video useful. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.